Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 77 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament. This episode we've got the Stein by Max the Flying Cat going up against the Derpits by Boku. Uh, this is going to be the, uh, the Stein's final match, so let's go ahead and get it underway. Oh, I was way off center there because, you know, the vanishing, vanishing ship trick. Stein barely. Oh, it's, it took a little bit of damage. The explosion caught a little bit of it. But it pretty much avoided that first volley. Seems like Derpus, same story. Some minor uh, clipping by explosion, knocking off some sloped blocks, but that's about it. Shells bounce off the darkness there. And there goes that one. <laughs> Another deflection. Some barrel damage on a few of the Derpitz's guns, but so far doing just fine. Stein? situation. Yeah, they're pretty much equal on HP, too. Ooh, this guy just got disabled, though. That's... That's a bit of a game changer. Not a huge one, because it is only a small secondary, but... Oh, this one's been disabled as well. takes a kind of uh, quantity and you know, a quality all of its own approach when it comes to its weapons. So knocking out any number of them is, uh, you know, it's, it's still effective, but it's got plenty more where that came from. Oh, but it's lost like pretty much all of the seconds except this one right here, which, you know, is now going to die when the next shell hits. I, I mentioned it's survivability. Oh, no, no, no commentator's curse this time for once? Well, all right. However, the Stein has gone dead in the water. Is not a situation you want to see yourself in. It might actually help the Stein out a little bit, because since the Stein does have a tendency to to lean in its turns very heavily and almost capsize and that can lead to sinking and it's just lots of bad stuff can happen Ooh, one of the barrels of this gun was just disabled that shell right in through there wow it got through a heavy armor beam nice Go check out the Derpits. Currently, Derpits has a pretty good lead of 88% to 77%. An 11% lead is definitely solid. Ooh, there's a big old chunk of shit Mitch here, though. All of the guns seem to be functional, however. Some barrel damage. Ooh, did that... Nope. The armor was able to hold against that explosion. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow. That was some awful timing. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I was just talking and all of a sudden a burp decided it was time to come up. I was like in the middle of speaking and kind of choked on my own burp there. It's kind of gross. <laughs> 
or Stein managed to get uh, underway again. But there's that that list I was talking about. That's oh, did you see that effect? It was like a a grainy effect. Oh, that was weird. Anyway, Stein is listing heavily and in danger of sinking itself or rolling itself over. And it looks like only the front two of the three barrels of the front main gun and then all three barrels of the rear main gun are still functional. Everything else is gone. Oh, that shell went right into the turret well. And if you saw it, like, re rewind if you want, it came, like, out the bottom and detonated over penetrating. It went right down the turret well. Oh, that was another over penetration there. Yeah, the derpits of shells have got some kinetic punch to them, that's for sure. Uh oh. Stein can't, like, get much lower without getting an 80% sinking. Man, the Derpitz is having difficulty hitting this target. And even when it does, it's tending to over-penetrate. Okay, but there we go. That's that's gotta cause an 80% sinking. Or is it just gonna capsize and then continue to float? I think it's just gonna capsize and continue to float. Well, all right. Yeah, those guys aren't gonna be able to do anything while it's upside down. AI dead. Okay, that was not ex how I was expecting the Stein to go out there. I was expecting either two damage or 80% in sinking, and then suddenly AI dead. <laughs> All right. So that's 83.6% for the Derpits. We'll move on to round two. Round two, underway. Let's see how this one goes, those immediately fired shells. Let's see how they do. Nope. That is what you call a miss. Granted, the Derpits didn't do a whole lot better with its immediately fired shells, but... Its follow-up volley actually did land. And do a bit of damage. Whereas the Derpitz is still at 100% health, or it was. But as I was saying that, it, it got hit. Oh, that's gonna land solid. Solidly in the side of the Derpitz, but that thing didn't do a whole lot. Just barely at the right angle. 
So another hit to that spot would probably knock out a gun. But the Therpitz is repairing away. Trying to patch that hole and keep that gun protected. Ooh, I was about to say, yeah, that lower one really got in there, and this gun is disabled now. Yep. I'm lucky the turret block didn't get destroyed. Oh, that's an overpenetration. Ooh, that might be another gun disabled there. Sort of? No, not really. A single barrel. Oh, um, well. How? How is that other barrel still... Oh. What? It's still acting like it has all... What? How is that turret still even, like... Is that heavy armor on the turret? It doesn't look like it. Okay, the metal is. I was gonna say, how the hell is that cap just not falling off? It looked like it should have been decapitated. Over penetrations in the bow of the stein and the superstructure. That is the, uh, the danger of using heavy uh, kinetic shells. If you use too high, they'll just go through the enemy without actually blowing up in them and doing damage. Or at least not as much damage. A second there, I thought this turret was going to get disabled, much like the rear one. But... Armor managed to hold over here for now, anyway. Oh, I was about to say, is that if this is going to go straight into it and just like decapitate it now that I friggin' like I was foreshadowing it or something? But no, it didn't. I would have, it would have been like, okay, how am I going to justify that this is actually live and not pre-recorded? <laughs> if I do something like that. Uh. Stein gun dead in the water again, down to 75%. Listening and leaning, even though it stopped quite low in the water. Ooh, I think that may have hit some sort of AI. It's all of a sudden both of those guys stopped aiming. It looks like that one barrel there is still functional, but the gun is no longer aiming.
big old hole blown in the bottom of the stein here. Yep, I think she's going over again. There we go, there's the 80% sinking. And there we are, that's the end of the round. The Derpitz is 88.2 this time. A little bit better than round one. Here we go, round three underway. <laughs> See if it's gonna go a little bit different or if it's gonna involve the derpits getting the stein to around 70% and then it capsizes and dies. Because <laughs> that's how the first two rounds have gone. Ooh, some solid hits from those initial hit volleys. Not often that happens. Oh wow, Stein is down to 88% already. It must have had a turret blown off or something, or multiple turrets blown off it looks like. Yep, those guns were blown completely off. And that's a lot of hit point damage. a whole lot to say. This is kind of the same thing. Though if the Stein keeps taking damage in this area, it's not terribly close to it, but you know, it could happen. It could break the back third of the Stein off and the Stein is dead in the water again. How does this keep happening? Does it only have one engine?
check in on the Derpits, see how the Derpits is doing. Also seems to be dead in the water. So that's, uh... That's not great. They're pretty far apart. If the recoil keeps pushing them apart, there is a chance that, the that they'll both end up despawning. them further and further apart. You can see the, uh, the Derpitz's AI is turning the ship to try and get it to move towards the enemy, but with no propulsion, it doesn't really actually do anything except bring guns out of alignment. <laughs> Oh, and there's the and there's the DQ timer kicking away. The Derpitz's only hope here is to uh, get a despawn timer going on the uh, the Stein in the next like 25 seconds. The Stein isn't rolling over. It's not. It's low in the water, but it doesn't look terribly close to an 80% in sinking despawn. Eh, it's actually kind of close. Wait, why is the. Oh! The Stein got underway again! The Stein is moving, and it, therefore it is moving towards its opponent, and its timer stopped. The clutch damage control. The absolute clutch damage control on the Stein there. Got the ship moving. It is no longer gaining DQ time. The Derpitz detonates. All it has to do is survive this last volley. Yep, it looks good. Just, no, I was waiting to see if that turn would make her sink, but nope. <laughs> that last bit, like, the derp, the, the Stein just ran out of materials, too. It had, like, less than a thousand materials left when it fixed its propulsion and got underway again. Oh, that was, that was, uh, surprising. <laughs> so 59.8 for the Derpits in round three, giving us those as the final scores. And that'll be it for the derp for the uh, the Stein. That was its final battle. So make sure you head on over to the Discord and cast your vote because that'll be up by the time this video goes live. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.